Hello everyone, my name is Miguel. Welcome back to the channel. We are almost at 5,000 subscribers. I am truly humbled, so thank you. Today we're actually looking at not one, but two watches from Walden Watches. It's not often that I show love to quartz watches on my channel, but I thought today, you know, let's talk about quartz, baby. These watches are individually hand-assembled and tested here in the good old United States of America. But before we get into a bit of history, do me a favor, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, and let me know how you feel about quartz watches in the comment section. Walden International, or Walden Watches, is a private, family-owned American watch brand based out of New York, New York. The company was established in 1979 by Oscar Walden, a Polish watchmaker who learned about the art of watchmaking in the Buchewald concentration camp during World War II, and now is run by the second generation, his son, Andrew, which, by the way, has been an absolute pleasure to work with. For over 40 years, Walden watches have sold through Tiffany & Co., Terno, Neiman Marcus, Asprey, Wempe, and are known for the exquisite craftsmanship, high-level detail, and affordability. The company is known to be one of the last few standing family-owned companies in the watch industry. If you want to know more about how they collaborated with Gerald Genta and in a way had something to do with the Zenith El Primero movement being used by Rolex for their Daytona model, well, I recommend you go to their website and look at the About Us section. Today, we will be looking at not one, but two other models, their Heritage Professional Canary Yellow model and their Heritage Sportline Silvered White. Let's quickly get into the specs. The specs on both of these watches are the same. The entire watch is constructed of 316L stainless steel. The case measures in at 40 millimeters. It's 47.4 millimeters from lug to lug. It's 8.6 millimeters thick. It has a 20 millimeter lug width. It weighs in at 53 grams. It has 50 meters of water resistance. Protecting the dial, we find a sapphire crystal with AR coating. Powering the watch is the AmeriCords caliber 70200. And these watches are being sold for sub $300. Most of the case is polished with the exception of the top of the lugs that have some subtle brushing on them. The case is multifaceted and it gives this watch more of a refined look. The 5mm push and pull crown is easy to grip, has been signed, but honestly you won't need to engage with it very frequently due to the quartz movement. On the back of the watch we do find a polished screwed on case back that has the company logo along with some information about the watch. Okay, let's talk about those beautiful dials. First up is the sport line. The silvered white dial is an oil press linear style dial with applied steel baton numerals, steel hands with superluminova and treated luminous tips. Applied superluminova loom plots on the outer rim of the dial. At the six o'clock, we do find a sunken and diamond cut sub dial for the sub seconds and the register hand has a small blue steel hand. On the dial, we do find the words Walden, New York, AmeriCorps and USA Movement. Now, on the professional model, the canary yellow dial, we find wide applied Arabic numerals, steel hands, wide outer dial rim with applied superluminova loom plots. At the six o'clock, we also find a sunken and diamond cut sub dial for the sub seconds register with a small red hand, and the watch has the same markings Walden, AmeriCorps, and USA Movement. Both of these dials are very important in person, but if I had to pick a favorite, I will go with the linear style one. There's something very special about the way those lines play with the light. Although Superluminova has been applied on both of these watches, honestly it's not very bright at all. I personally consider these more dress watches, so I wasn't expecting to see any loom, but my recommendation is either get rid of them or make it a little bit brighter for better visibility in low light conditions. The straps that these watches come with are fantastic. They're made with genuine leather, feature a stainless steel buckle. Now, the silver dial one came with a quick release system, but the canary yellow did not. I do love when companies use quick release systems in their straps as it minimizes the chances of scratching up the case with the tool. Now, that pretty much happened to me when I was changing the strap of the canary yellow watch. However, the straps are very comfortable and well constructed. Let's talk about the thing that divides collectors, the quartz movement. These watches feature the AmeriCorps caliber 70200. The caliber is an American made quartz movement, uniquely made of robustly machined metal components. Each movement is hand assembled and tested here in the United States, is fully serviceable, and it comes with a five year warranty. The caliber 70200 is designed with key advances to the construction of the movement, 
such as jewel bearings, which provide and minimize friction as well as better capillary attraction of the oils, which results in longer service and shelf life. Use of the SMD or surface mounted device technology in the ECB or electronic circuit board provides higher efficiency and a smaller physical footprint inside the movement as well. The movement features three joules, has a frequency of 32,768 hertz, and it has an accuracy of minus plus 20 seconds a month. All my six and seven eighth inch wrists of watches were great. To me personally, because of the 40 millimeter case and the real estate of the dial, they were a lot bigger and feel more like a sports watch. I do like the 50 meter water resistance as that means that these really can be an everyday watch. However, I personally prefer smaller watches and would like to see these offered in a 36 millimeter case. Overall, these watches are really well constructed and they have a modern yet elegant look to them. Look, I understand that quartz may deter some collectors from picking one up. Quartz watches may seem like soulless devices as compared to mechanical watches. However, just as with mechanical watches, there are wild variations in quality at the very lowest and you have stamped metal on jewel movements which can keep better time than mechanical watches. On the other hand, you have this serviceable AmeriQuartz movement that comes with a 5 year warranty. I really think every collector needs at least one quartz watch in their collection. Their grab and go pieces it will always be set to the right time as long as the battery is working and honestly, they're super low maintenance. I encourage you to visit the Walden website and check out all the fun dials that they have to offer. Until next time, thank you so much again for your support. Take care and stay humble, my friends.